some of you might not believe me, this is caterpillar poop. Okay, so we got our uh, the flatbed all set up here. Nothing's really different. Um, some people thought I was going to be doing a completely different build. Um, I really like the setup that I have now. I've put a lot of time and effort into getting it. Um, the second truck was not so I could have two different trucks on the road. Um, that might be coming. I'm not really thinking about it right now. Um, I thought that the responsible thing to do was to reinvest back into my business and get a second vehicle. So with uh, right now, keeping the skid platform the same you know even though this is a new truck i can still get an accident i can still get uh, a flat tire i can still get uh, hit by a, a truck or hit a deer so i still want to be able to move this whole footprint from one truck to the other so um, it was more about having a redundancy with my uh my <clears throat> equipment my truck to get me to drop the job so i can keep that revenue going not so much having uh, an extra vehicle to put wash equipment on. Now that will be a absolutely an option in the future, but right now it's really just about having a backup truck. This is a work truck and I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to do some work with it, so I'm excited. Hey, here we are today in beautiful Lake George, New York. We're gonna do a nice house wash here in this one section of gutters. Um, customer says they overflow when, uh, when it rains. They think that they're pretty full, possibly clogged. You look back behind here you can definitely see that they're overflowing so but before we get started let's just see if we can see where our bleach is like right above that hash mark okay we got a pretty decent sized house here So here we are up on the roof and as you can see it really is full um, some of you might not believe me this is caterpillar poop um, if you don't believe me look up the Adirondacks look up Lake George area we have had a infestation of caterpillars they have been destroying all our vegetation we are in uh, June end of June here going on July look at all our trees Okay, this is our second year we've dealt with this. Look at this Look at this uh, cluster right here of caterpillars and cocoons all up and down this tree. Look at this tree. There's probably a few hundred of them right there. All over this tree, nice and bare. Unbelievable. All up through here, you can see right through these. And it is, look, all the way through here, you can see the blue sky through all these trees. Look at these, look how bare we are. So, um, believe it or not, this is all poop. It's all poopy. So... Let's go ahead and we'll clean all this out. And uh, I'm just going to try to rip right through this section. We're going to the house wash. All right, now that this is cleaned out a little bit, that was probably the fastest gutter clean I've ever had. <laughs> we'll see if we can get some water down this downspout here. And really just flush it. All right, let's get a little, a little bit of this junk out of this bucket here. <clears throat> that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty nasty. Has it clean now? Still waiting on our ball though. But I did get an update the other day that the shipment came in. And because I've been waiting a couple weeks for it, it didn't come with the uh, all the other gear. 
they expedited it so i think i saw an email for second day air and hopefully we'll get it here soon but soap's turned on we'll stretch our hose back around over here i got about 500 feet of hose on the truck my wash my wash reel i only have about 200 on it and i usually don't pull off the other reel unless i really really need it i'll just wrap the house as far as i can and then i'll just overlap so we're going to start right about here and then i'll be clean up that side over there <laughs> Aim right this window. Wait till we see our soap come on. Pay attention to the stream now. Just going through the bypass. We'll soap a little bit and then you can see the difference in the stream once you turn on the uh, on rinse mode here. Here comes our soap. Okay. All that mold. Right up under there. Trying to get it sitting soaking in that vent, but we do want to get around it for sure. Whites on the windows. Bada bang. Look at that trim right there. Give everything a nice little coat. Brighten up that sign a little bit. Outside of here. That's what's really nice about this fan spray. And just this trigger gun in general is you can just go from shooting to spraying. Probably going from a couple hundred PSI to, I mean, just a fan mist. Really nice. Now we'll soap this whole house. And then we'll rinse this whole house. Just rinse it all in one shot. No missed spots. The coverage on this gun is awesome. The uh, 2.3 injector is pulling like 1.25% and uh, it's beautiful. It takes off even the blackest stuff. Uh, we'll take a look and see what the SH tank is when we're done, but for the uh, amount of time that I'm saving on these jobs, and uh not having to play around with the mixture go a little stronger go a little lighter um i certainly haven't really minded if i, I mean, i'm sure there are some houses that i might be using a little bit more bleach but i think it's uh i think the end result time saved the ease of work is uh, outweighed by that little extra cost of bleach and i mean it really is a little extra it's not much that's one thing that I was kind of worried about, but no longer worried about it. You don't know until you know. We're in it there under that trim piece too. Okay. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll uh, rinse out our ejector real quick. All right, so we got our injector rinsed out. We're all done with bleach. <clears throat> and then we'll just wrap right around to the other side real quick. And we'll start our rinse. There's no reason to start rinsing here because we're still dwelling. But the uh, farther side of the house has already done all of its uh, dwell. So we'll just run the bleach. There's still some soap in that line. Always want to look for maybe a spot you miss while you're still cleaning out. Let's get some hose pulled here. I don't have my head mount with me today, so I'm trying to do everything with one hand. It's all right. We've been here before. We can handle it. Go 
over the window. Still got the soap. And we're water now. All water. Now you can definitely see a difference on the stream. We're certainly getting the full eight gallons per minute now at a minimum. We got a heavy flow going. We do have the first uh, jumper hose as well as the first 50 feet at half inch. Dropping down to 3 8. So I know that our flow is right where it needs to be at a minimum eight gallons per minute. We also, instead of the three quarter stock line going into the AR pump, we upped it to an inch and a half. So the baby is drinking water. So let's go ahead and we'll get a good rinse here. Hit these windows. Start everything nice and high. Get everything high first and then we'll move lower because there's no gutters here. So everything's going to come running over that drip line. We want to leave that nice and clean. Look at here it comes. Look at all that bleach. All that bleach and brown water. So let that all drip. Start high, baby. Start high. Now there's no drip here, so we'll get under here. We we'll hit that sign pretty good. Windows. To the windows, to the wall. Look at these railings that we've been deucing with bleach here. You see, look, all that drip is still coming, but it's definitely slowing down. I know we just hit this, but we're right here. Prime of opportunity. Let's hit it. And we'll hit it again when we come back through. But we got all this. Always leave everything nice and rinsed. Then we hit that lattice. That lattice was nice and green. Now it's nice and mean. All this vegetation. That 1.25 ain't nothing once you start hitting with this water. Nothing. All these railings. All right. Stand back on this hill here. Look at this, look at this. We're not doing anything here today. This is some of the stuff I was talking about. Look at this. It's like an infestation. All this tree. Look at this. Absolutely, they have taken over Lake George. <clears throat> They've taken over Lake George. those windows from way over here let's check our water man <laughs> you wouldn't believe it if I don't actually go over here there must be really good water pressure here because um, on rinse usually I'm at half I'm at full still I'm at full on, and we've been wide open rinsing. I'm actually surprised by that. Normally that's not the case. Uh, the tanks will stay topped off um, when I'm on soap mode because like you guys have seen the difference in the flow. But on wash rinse mode, normally if I was to go check at this point, I was expecting it to be about half, which is still good. I still have uh, 50 gallons left. Um, I am I am surprised that it's full, but we're right again. Like I'm I'm all municipal water, so it's very it's not super surprising. I just think the water here is better than I was anticipating here in the village. A little better than I thought it was going to be. I know not all of you uh, watch every video, so I, I did talk about it recently. But I'll just mention it again here. I did when I bought the eight gallon per minute. Um, I did have an issue with like an orifice on the unloader. It was too big for this eight gallon per minute. So I'm using a K7.2 unloader. 
it came with a 0.3 adapter which uh is just like the nipple at the top where your unloader hose goes into your tank um so because there was like back feeding pressure it would uh it would pulsate really hard when you let off the gun so until i could replace that that um piece right in the beginning i was uh opening up the gun with soap and i was just soaping the whole house trying not to let off the gun and then i'd go to the truck oh i wonder if this is that gutter um i would go to the truck and I would switch on to water and I would rinse the whole house without letting off the handle. Because if you let off the handle, it just was like violently thrashing at the truck. And I was like, that's eh, just temporary. I'll just run it and, um, you know, do it that way. Obviously running it wide open, I was, you know, getting pretty darn close to running out of water without, you know, when I stop this, then I pull the hose and I adjust the hose and I get the coupling unhooked and I check my phone and I do a few things there's five and a half gallon per minute going back into the tank. Um, when I was just gunning it like this and not letting off for anything, I was just rinsing, 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 rinsing. There was a deficit in that tank almost every time. Um, and it was hard to tell how much of it was because I'm just gunning this thing constantly or is it because the fill just can't keep up with the demand? And uh, it really made me pretty nervous. So I uh, got online spent like 900 bucks on basically shipping was the worst thing like trying to get tanks like tanks aren't all that cheap but they're not all that expensive but you will pay the devil when it comes time to ship it and uh, it was like 900 bucks per time by the time i got like more float valves and uh fittings and uh, a hundred gallon tank to add on to the truck and everything i needed to plummet because i'm like man i'm not gonna be able to feed this thing and then uh I did all this on like a Saturday, so obviously none of it went through. None, none of it, uh, like the order went through, but nothing had got shipped or processed. And then Monday morning came around, and uh, I'm like, all right, well, you know, I'll just make do with what I got while I got it. And uh, went out and started doing some wash jobs. So like, I'm like caught back here on this ladder that I was using for gutter cleaning. So to go and get this, which is common, like the hoses are always getting stuck on something, um, you're getting water going into the tank. So. I never try to like rush from like side to side. I'm already cutting off like a half hour at least of all my jobs. So I just like take my time and let the tanks fill up. But um, anyway, it's, uh, I was doing it. I was working all day long. I had the orifice fixed. The gun was working properly. The unloader was working properly. I could switch and go from soap and everything like that. I could let off the machine and not have it thrash. And I noticed on the first job that, uh, I was like, well, I'm not really noticing, I'm not really noticing a water issue. And I said, well, I'll just, I'll, I'll wait until see the second job. Second job of the day was not having any sort of water issue. So I looked at my phone, and it was still kind of early in the morning, and I hadn't seen any updates from the pressure wash company that I was getting the stuff from. So I'm like, all right, well, one more job. I want to go do one more job. So I ended up doing three jobs. It's kind of done before noon because like i said i mean this is really cutting off a lot of time and uh wasn't having any issues and i was doing a couple different water sources i was across a couple different towns at that point and i ended up uh getting on the phone and canceling the whole order i canceled all the tanks all the fittings everything else so everything is the same as it was on the 12 volt um just using a uh, 100 gallon buffer um let's check this here i don't think that it really moved like it may be a little bit so for those of you who are wondering if downstreaming is really making that big of a difference with the bleach eh, maybe a little bit but this is a pretty big house um i flowed pretty freely and didn't have any issues so uh we barely moved the dial there that's with the 2.3 injector so all in all I'm, I'm pretty happy with it i mean it got some decent size here got some decent peak um did all the lattice and did i mean we did everything we did everything I even uh, sprayed a little bit on that metal roof up there, back of the gutter, and uh, I think we're good to go.